This is Voyager 1, the farthest human-made object ever created. Launched in 1977, this spacecraft has been traveling away from Earth for almost 50 years. In this simulator, we are going to watch what Voyager 1 looks like as it leaves the solar system. Voyager 1 launched from Cape Canaveral, Florida. It reached space in about 10-15 minutes after launch. We'll start near Earth, pass the giant planets, and slowly move into the vast darkness beyond the sun. Notice the green line that marks the path of the planet's orbit. It did not stop at Earth's orbit. It kept moving fast enough to escape Earth's gravity entirely in that first launch phase. Now we are far, far away from Earth. From this distance, our planet is just a tiny dot in the vast darkness of space. Now Voyager 1 is traveling toward Jupiter, the largest planet in our solar system. Notice the red line circling the sun. This marks the path of Jupiter's orbit. We are traveling at 38,000 miles per hour. In February 1978, the spacecraft continues past Mars' orbit and moves through the asteroid belt. Voyager 1 is approaching the middle of the asteroid belt. The spacecraft is nearly halfway to Jupiter. Jupiter grows slightly larger in Voyager's cameras. The spacecraft is only months away from reaching the largest planet in our solar system. As Voyager 1 approaches Jupiter, we can start to see its four largest moons orbiting the planet. In this time-lapse view, their motion is fast, showing how quickly they circle Jupiter. Voyager 1 is moving even faster, racing toward its closest approach to the giant planet. Just three months away from Jupiter, Voyager 1 prepares for its closest approach. From here, Jupiter appears as a small bright point in the distance, but its massive gravity will soon guide Voyager toward a close flyby. It is now March 1979. Voyager 1 is arriving at Jupiter, the largest planet in our solar system. This is a real image of Jupiter taken by Voyager 1 during its flyby in March 1979. Jupiter's Great Red Spot. This is how Voyager 1 viewed Europa and Io during its flyby of Jupiter. Io was the closest flyby at about 2,600 kilometers. This is how it discovered active volcanoes. They also captured images of Ganymede and Callisto from that distance as Voyager 1. Now Voyager 1 uses Jupiter's strong gravity to slingshot itself faster. This gravity assist sends Voyager 1 on a new path toward Saturn and beyond. By April 1979, Voyager 1 is moving away from Jupiter at an even higher speed. The red line marks Saturn's orbit. Voyager 1 is heading toward it now. Voyager 1 left Earth at 38,000 miles per hour. After passing Jupiter, the planet's massive gravity boosted its speed to 52,000 miles per hour, 23 km per second. It took Voyager 1 about 20 months to travel from Jupiter to Saturn. Saturn's gravity is slowly beginning to influence the spacecraft. Voyager 1 can now see the moons orbiting Saturn. On November 12, 1980, Voyager 1 flies past Saturn. This image was captured by Voyager 1. As it slowly approached Saturn, revealing the planet and its rings for the first time. Those time-lapse frames where Voyager zooms in on the planet are both terrifying and fascinating to watch. Saturn's rings come into view. During its flyby, Voyager 1 revealed Saturn's largest moon, 
Titan. Voyager 1 turns its cameras toward Rhea as it passes by. This is what Voyager 1 saw as it entered the Saturn system. It encountered Titan first. It captures Titan, a world wrapped in a thick, hazy atmosphere, unlike any other moon in the solar system. After leaving Titan, Voyager 1 turns its attention toward Saturn itself. The planet's massive rings fill the view, revealing complex structures never seen before. Voyager 1 studies Saturn's clouds, rings, and magnetic environment as it passes by. Voyager 1 observed Saturn from behind and found a thin veil of dust outside the rings. As Voyager 1 continues its journey, it captures Saturn's moon. Rhea appears as a frozen, cratered world orbiting the ringed giant. With its final observations complete, Voyager 1 prepares to leave Saturn behind and continue its journey into deep space. After the Saturn flyby, Voyager 1 used the Saturn's gravity to slingshot even faster. It now travels at about 65,000 miles per hour, heading toward the edge of the solar system. 65,000 miles per hour sounds fast, but in the scale of the solar system, it's almost a crawl. Let's accelerate time and watch Voyager 1 race toward the edge of the solar system. After almost 50 years of journeying across the solar system, Voyager 1 will finally enter interstellar space in November 2026. Right now, Voyager 1 drifts through the endless expanse of space, moving farther from Earth with every passing second. From Voyager 1's perspective, Earth appears as it was one day ago, since the spacecraft is one light day away. Voyager 1 is a tiny human-made object drifting silently through space. In roughly 50,000 years, Voyager 1 will arrive at the star nearest to our sun, continuing its endless journey through space. It will remain a witness to the vastness of the universe for billions and trillions of years to come. Over billions of years, the Milky Way will itself move, evolve, and eventually collide with the Andromeda Galaxy. Countless cosmic events will unfold and stars and galaxies will merge and transform. Yet Voyager 1 will drift on, a tiny silent messenger of humanity carrying our story across the cosmos. Thank you so much for watching. Please excuse the AI if it doesn't sound perfect. I'm deaf and use ASL to share this story. I really hope you enjoyed this journey of Voyager 1. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more amazing space adventures.